Hello, I am Varun Mahadevan. I am a seventh grader at Prince of Peace Lutheran School, Fremont, California. I live in Hayward, a beautiful city about 25 miles east of San Francisco. Here in the Hayward Hills overlooking the city, you can get an awesome view of the San Francisco Bay. On a clear day, you can see the San Mateo Bridge, the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge, and the city of San Francisco, a major tourist hub and port city in Northern California. Here I am at Lake Chabot, a man-made lake which was formed due to the damming of the San Leandro Creek. The 315-acre lake is famous for recreational activities such as fishing and boating. Lake Chabot is surrounded by Anthony Chabot Regional Park, which contains the only natural redwood tree grove in the East Bay. Currently, the lake serves as an emergency water source. This idyllic island you see is Santa Catalina Island. It is the most populated island of the Channel Islands, with Avalon as its major city. The harbor we are viewing is the Avalon Harbor, known to have one of the best beaches in California. The best thing to do at Avalon is to go in a glass-bottom boat. When I went in a glass-bottom boat, I was able to view lots of the immense flora and fauna of the kelp forest. I was able to see the marine state fish, the Garibaldi, a bright orange fish that is named after an Italian general who wore a trademark red shirt. This is San Simeon, a major elephant seal rookery. The major area of volcanism in California is Lassen Volcanic National Park. The area surrounding Lassen Peak is still active with boiling mud pots, stinking fumaroles, and churning hot springs. Lassen Volcanic National Park is one of the few areas in the world where all four types of volcano can be found, such as plug dome, shield, cinder cone and strato volcano. The dominant feature of the park is Lassen Peak, the largest plug dome volcano in the world and the southernmost volcano in the Cascade Range. This is Lake Shasta. It is created by damming of the Sacramento River at Chasta Dam. On a boat ride, you might see wildlife such as mountain lions, bald eagles, osprey, bobcats, black bears, and black-tailed deer. A great place to visit at Lake Shasta is the Shasta Caverns. Upon entering the carefully preserved underground world of the caverns, you will be surrounded by crystal beauty 250 million years in the making. As you turn each corner, a different surprise awaits you in the form of unique and stunning calcite formations. Soaring above the upper Sacramento River Valley and the city of Dunsmuir, are the skyscraping spires of granite called the Castle Crags. From the lofty ramparts, the hiker can look down on forested slopes. The Castle Crags are made up of volcanic rock and granite. This is Silver Lake at Kirkwood, California. It is an alpine lake of glacial origin. Probably the most famous alpine lake in California is Lake Tahoe. 
Lake Tahoe is admired for its great depth and clarity and beautiful alpine surroundings. Lake Tahoe is located along the border of California and Nevada. These are some glacial alpine lakes in Bear Valley, California. Bear Valley is located in the high Sierra Nevada of California. Volcanic eruptions on the Medicine Lake Shield volcano have created an incredibly rugged landscape punctuated by cinder cones, lava flows, spatter cones, lava tube caves, and pit craters. During the Modoc War, the Modoc Indians used these lava flows to their advantage. This is Long Beach, California. The largest commercial port on the Pacific coast. Medicine Lake is a pristine lake located in the Cascade Range east of the main arc and northeast of Mount Shasta. Pinnacles National Monument is southeast of San Jose, California and is near the town of Payson. I have loved geography since I was young, and it is a passion that I have developed. I study by reading Atlas's geography textbooks and history books. Watching documentaries is educative, and I listen to news too. Hey Nat Geo, do you know what is the largest port city in Slovenia, located north of the Istrian Peninsula? I also love traveling, and I would love to go to Venezuela since many things are cheap there and it is a beautiful place. If I was in charge of the earth, I would give proper education to all countries so poverty and strife will be avoided. And the answer to the question was Koper, Slovenia.